WA FBI team is looking out for your money tonight after thieves targeted a local bank and used skimmers to make off with thousands of dollars. Our lead investigator Scotty Hunter walks us through this crime in ways that you can stay safe right here in our area. Scotty. Well, guys, while there are some ways you can try to spot one of these skimmers, you need to be careful, though, and not let your guard down even at a bank. This bank statement tells the story. Not one, but $2,000 withdrawals the account owner says he did not make. I knew instantly that it had to have been a card skimmer and not somebody just taking my wallet. It all happened last Friday. This guy stopped by the ATM at the neighbor's Federal Credit Union on Airline in Prairieville, the last place he thought something like this would happen. I was at a bank. I, I just, I had that sense of comfort, that sense of like knowing that I'm in a safe place that's recorded on multiple cameras. Like nobody's going to be tampering with a bank ATM. They tamper with the sketchy gas station ATM. So like I just let my guard down and I paid for it. Turns out a group of thieves targeted the bank, secretly placing devices on the ATM known as skimmers that can copy or clone your card's information. That allows them to make off with an untold amount of money, including $2,000 from his account. How are you going to pay for your bills? How are you going to pay for your rent? How are you going to get food? How are you going to get gas? Like, that is a real repercussion for a lot of people. Now we may have some others that trickle in. Tanya Lawrence is the chief operations officer at Neighbors. She says they cannot say how much money was taken or how many customers were impacted, but they do tell us all of the money either has been or will be recovered. The members that were affected, they have been notified and the cards have been closed and funds have already been placed back into their accounts. The WAFBI team has learned this is not the only bank in the region that's been hit recently. While you're used to seeing them on gas pumps, Lawrence tells me unfortunately skimmers have been popping up on bank ATMs as well. I mean, they get more and more sophisticated. They now have uh, a device they put inside of the card reader that's um, not easily detected by anyone, including branch staff. And, and now the, they're using devices that look just like your machine. The next time you head to an ATM, she says there are signs that can let you know if it's been tampered with. The bank suggests you check out the machine for anything that looks off. Look for any hidden clues on the pen pad. Watch out for your surroundings and keep a close eye on your account for any changes you did not make. Even with all this, though, Lawrence says there are some skimmers that are all but impossible to spot, no matter how much the bank monitors their ATMs. And while the group that hit this ATM is still on the run. This guy says he hopes they're caught soon. Karma is real and it's going to come and bite you in the butt. Um, you're going to get yours one day. I just hope I'm there to see it. Now we do know there were three people behind this particular crime. We're told there is good surveillance video of the thieves, but so far no arrests guys. All right, Scotty, something to look out for. Thank you for that. Oh, well, we know it.